Hey, Steve and I are just sitting here talking science. <laughs> Chatting away. And this is what, a science toy. You're going to show us how to make it. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make it. Then I'm going to show you kind of, this is the very first uh, science experiment I ever had as a kid. And I'll tell you the story about McKinley Elementary, a little uh, Denver Public School. Okay. Uh, here, here is the, uh, here's what you're going to need. A one liter bottle. So this is just a one liter bottle filled with water. Just took the label off. You're also going to need this eyedropper. So I just went to the store and uh, where the pharmacy is, I just found these eyedroppers. Yeah. I'll show you other variations, but this is a glass eyedropper. Now, if you take a glass eyedropper, and I'm gonna focus right down here, I promise the camera operator I won't move. So if you just drop it down inside, see how it floats? Right. You can actually squeeze some of the air out, bring some water in, make it a little bit heavier so it just barely floats, okay? Uh, your bottle is open. Right. So here's what you're gonna do is, as I made yours barely float as well, you're gonna take it out like this and just drop it into the bottle so it will float. Good okay. job, nice. And here I'm gonna cap yours off with just a little bit of water and a little bit of water. And so now, here's the cool thing that happens, you, you don't wanna tell people, all right? So go ahead and put the cap on. You're gonna have to twist it on nice and tight. Good, Okay. got it? So now watch what happens. Hold on to it just like this. If you squeeze the bottle, the water will go into the eyedropper here. See how it going up and down? Oh, yes. So squeeze it hard enough and it will sink. Squeeze hard, come on, uh, can you get, yes. yes. And then it will float, got right. it? Bingo. Now you can adjust it so it's a little bit easier, but notice on mine, hopefully you can't see that I'm squeezing too much. So you'll see how right. you make it go up and down like no, this? Oh yeah, I just, see. There you go, you're doing it. All right, so now, take a wide shot here I and I'll it. show you what I did. So my dad for show and tell set this up. And so he said, instead of just going and saying this is a Cartesian diver, he said, pretend like you have a magnetic finger and show the kids that if you put your finger here, you can cause this to go up and down <laughs> like that. And so I thought that's a pretty good idea. That's a pretty good one. I did that one. on the playground at McKinley Elementary here in Denver, although I just charged kids 25 cents. <laughs> so I lined them up and they, for 25 cents, you could test if you had a magnetic finger or not. I made $3.75. And? I had to return that the next day because my mom and dad said that was called a scam. So but <laughs> I learned the power of presentation. Yes, so recently, recently I teamed up with National Geographic they have a brand new show out called Genius about Albert Einstein. Uh -huh. And they asked bloggers and, and YouTube people to talk about their very first moment of wonder. Einstein was amazed that a compass moved and he didn't understand those invisible so lines of force. For so for me, this was beautiful. So look, look at this, a squid, so squeeze like this. Oh, so this is the very first that one that I ever squid. did. At, uh, <laughs> so the, uh, the eyedropper here, and it was that moment of wonder. And so I was thinking, look at this one. You just pull a hair like this and you wrap it around and then you pull down. Doesn't that look good? See, it looks uh, good, and then you just let go. Awesome. No, wait, let me grab like this and kind of pull. It's a density experiment, right? So yeah. it gets a little bit uh, heavier, it, a little bit more dense, but it's that moment of wonder, and if we could go back in our lives and figure out yeah, that moment of wonder, look at this one, squeeze this one here for everyone. There's okay. 25 of them in there. Keep going, keep going, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, keep squeezing, yes, and now Check it just, out. you let them all back up again. Here you go, nice, and they're all back up. There's so much you can do this summer with these little Cartesian divers. I put a lot on the website, so if you check, check my Facebook page, at Steve Spangler or Twitter, any of those things, I'll put links to all my Cartesian divers so you can do I them need at home. Bigger hands. <laughs> this is the I wimpy tester. Hands. You're not wimpy. That's okay, you're, you're, right. you're very strong. All good stuff. You did Thank great. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thank we'll you. We'll be right back. Hey, give Cartesian me a hair. Dive. I want a hair. There you yeah, go. Yank out Just wrap hair. it up. There, there you go. That's perfect. I got it. <gasps>